Tyler hasn't been around the last couple months really. He's been going through a lot mentally. He's been fighting some serious, serious demons. Imagine just like shitting on me when you know nothing about me and Tyler's hey, relationship. We, we, we about to find out, my boy. You right, I don't know jack shit about your relationship, but we about to find out. Like this stuff has made me like consider walking away from YouTube. I have no clue what I'm gonna do, but I am not being around those people. Damn. I would never imagine Mopey making a video like this. We <laughs> finna watch. Now, hold on, chat. Is this video bad? Is this video worse than TD's? Like, is this evisceration worthy? I'm not gonna lie. TD was pre, it was kind of evis evisceration worthy, but I didn't want to do them boys like that. I didn't want to do them boys that bad because I don't got smoke with them, right? So, like, I don't want to do, like, like, you know what I'm saying? But if this video is bad, then. I mean, fuck. It was trending? What do you mean? Was, this video was... Bro, why the hell this video... He got 112k likes. He dropped that motherfucking dead eight. Dead eight. All right, let's be, let's be, let's be, let's be, let's be. Bro, I be seeing... I be seeing Kingstar talk about this on his Twitter and whatnot. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Hey, Kitty Pie. Hi. By the title and the tweets that have already gone out on Twitter... You guys already know what is going on here most likely and yes i am uh i am leaving to hype mm -hmm. and um i'm going to be talking about why in this video before getting into things i want to make a few things clear <clears throat> uh first few being that i turned down being in the hundred thieves deal okay okay i chose to leave to hype okay um, I'm not doing YouTube for the money or the clout. I don't like that word, but I gotta use it. It's not fame. It's not uh, volume, okay, I got you, I got you. I'm not doing it for either one of those things, and um, I got serious How about now? with How about now? people in the six members of the group. Um, not counting Cash and Mitchell. Mitchell's a new one, right? Is a new member? I got, I got respect for them, but the rest of them, no. And for anybody thinking I'm making this okay. video for money or clout, you are sadly mistaken because I walked away from so much money. You guys have no idea. So much money and uh, so much clout too. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not about like, like 1.25 speed. Oh, I'm down with that. Could have faked it. I could have faked it and gone along with everything and been a part of 100 Thieves. I would have loved to be a part of 100 Thieves. Mm -hmm. uh, and that would have been a lot of money too. But, um, mm -hmm. So I'm doing YouTube for fun, and being around those guys is not fun. I believe that. Knowing all I do now about the group, I would not be able to, like, have pride within myself and be happy knowing mm -hmm. I'm staying with these guys, knowing all that they have done. Mm -hmm. So, I am, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm doing, I have no clue what I'm going to do, but I am not being around those people. And getting into- Damn. <laughs> Damn. Like, I'm trying, like, I'm trying, I'm trying try to, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put myself in that situation. I can't imagine somebody saying that shit about me. Am I that much of a dog shit human that niggas feel that way about me? I can't, I can't be around this dude. I wouldn't feel right within myself to do stuff around this dude. God damn. Kind of fucked. To talking about everything, um, they sent me a cease and desist letter. So I do need to be careful with what I'm saying because mm -hmm. they're threatening to sue me. I've literally only said L hype and Custom I'm speed? making but a video. And they're already sending me a cease and desist letter. Like, what does that tell you? Like, they're just, they're willing to do and say anything. I'll be going into a lot this more is good. later about that. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about a lot. So I need to make it very clear that I'm still legally a part of 2A. I have left. What the, what the, what the? Oh, he probably, after the video, he probably added this in here. Left the production side. I am technically still part of the group until formal corporate matters are resolved. Mm -hmm. So... That is why so much of this video is very vague, but continuing on. But to big picture, and if you don't care to sit through the entire video, which I, which I hope you do, because, you know, I, I hope not to make it too long, but there's a lot to possibly take away from this and just know about the online scene. But I've just been um, completely used, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, used, used and abused, uh, like used online, my, my mopey 
personality um mm-hmm. and abused like as tyler like everybody just forgetting about tyler and only caring about mopey chill you gonna make me sad my nigga chill 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 my boy 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 mopey you too cute for this my nigga chill my boy you gonna make me sad j j you gonna make me fat you gonna make me sad bro and mopey showing up for the videos everybody just just doesn't care about tyler and um they will they're gonna say otherwise like when they've I, been fucking him no that's not what they mean i put out my tweet they all just tried saying they helped me out more than anyone showing texts of support like all that stuff but no i'm not i'm not having some fake agenda like that like fake agenda that went out with like td and Lowe's go out there like i'm saying the truth so again nothing to talk about with cash and mitchell they're good people but um mm-hmm. yeah going into but everybody whenever something happens to they always everybody says yeah cash cool yeah cash cool cash cool i guess cash cool my nigga. i guess cash cool my nigga. i guess cash cool my nigga. each one of the individuals that i have issues with i'll start out with jesser because everybody's Damn. probably wondering like wasn't that your friend since elementary school it's like yeah he was he's gone though it's just jesser there is no jesse and um he's been doing Fuck. some really nasty stuff that um i don't ever care to see him again or talk to him again First, jesus christ Oh, okay. First of which, that happened more recently, but I'll get into stuff that happened over the year and past years, but... And Chris Chris was supporting this too, and but... Jesse saying I'm fighting serious, serious demons. He's been going through a lot of mentally been... Fi- going through a lot of mentally been fighting some serious, serious demons. Y'all are feeling someone who's not okay. Uh, okay. And he's worried about me and... Unless... Mopey has said that him, him damn self, like, unless those words have come out of Mopey's mouth, it is extremely, extremely dangerous to self-diagnose someone on the fucking internet. Even if he did, that did come out of his mouth, you don't share that with the internet. Unless Mopey said, yeah, you could share with the internet that I'm fighting some serious, serious demons. Basically just painting me out to be, like, mentally unstable because I put out my l hype tweet. Like, I can't, I can't describe how i feel about the manipulation and is that considered gaslighting or no is that like the literal definition of gaslighting he says some shit so so jessica goes on the internet says yeah this nigga's fucked up in the brain and y'all are fueling him or not really like the disgust for what he's doing I never thought that getting into YouTube years down the line, I would be having my own brother manipulated by Jesser and try to be used against me as a manipulation strategy by him to think mm-hmm. to make people think that he cares about me and that he's reaching out to my family to support me. Like it, it I can't even like it's it's crazy. It, I can't I can't I'm speechless. I don't know how to form words right now because it's so ridiculous. After I saw Jesse talk about my brother in his video and my mom too, uh, which is 100% not okay with me, um, I texted my brother and this is what he said. Uh, um, it's all good, bro. He did some weird shit with mom too. He's so fucked up. Check out the first minute. I broke my shoulder. Oh, me too. I just saw it. I'm upset because he called me yesterday and he said he wanted to keep everything offline. Yeah, he posted a video the next day and includes me and he told me about all the hate you've been getting so he's just trying to make himself look better i'm sorry it's all good it's not your fault please don't be sorry i'm just going to say the truth and it'll all be good i can't imagine how weird it was for him to be talking to jesser and like they've never talked before and he's trying to make it out like he was trying to help me by talking to him on the uh-huh. phone and then he just said online like he's like it i, I don't even know what to say and in the the eyes too like he probably just rubbed his eyes and started to just get watery eyes like it's it's an act it's all manipulation act he does not care he only cares because he wants to uphold his online image that's all he cares about fuck that's all they, that's all, all that's all fuck i would never imagine mopey making a video like this fuck bro fuck bro fuck that's all they all care about that's how you it's know it's bad dog that. i gotta take accountability for not being entirely open with how bad things were with me this year but is that video I still was- up? I want to. I kind of want to see that in the first minute of the shoulder video. All right, y'all. Before we get into the video, I just want to talk to y'all because of the everything that's been happening. Obviously, Tyler hasn't been around the last couple months really, like uploading or on social media. He's been going through a lot mentally, 
been fighting some serious, serious demons. I'm not going to go too in-depth on that as his personal thing, but Tyler, I'm worried about you, dude. Like I said, I would take this whole thing offline. I reached out to your mom, expressing my worries. I talked to your brother for an hour, bro. He's really worried about you. Like he didn't, you've been hiding things from him. Tyler, I want you, like I tried calling you. Please just call me back. You don't respond to me or the guys. Like we want to help you. I'm not gonna go in depth. It's very personal, all of this stuff. Like Tyler, I literally saw you the other day after this happened. I told you I loved you, bro. You hugged me and then you don't respond to me. I haven't been able to sleep at night. Like I've, all I've tried to do is help this man. Obviously, I'm gonna try to keep everything offline. I'm gonna try to talk to your family more because I'm worried about you, bro. I've known you forever. And all the people like hating on me saying I snaked my best friend, like, you know nothing, bro. Y'all are feeling someone who's not okay. Imagine just like shitting on me when you know nothing about me and Tyler's hey, we, relationship. We, we about to find out, my boy. You right, I don't know jack shit about your relationship, but we about to find out. We kind of finding out already. Or what he's going through or what I'm going through. I just don't get it, man. Yeah. Like, y'all have seen what I've done for my friends over the years. Yeah. I got to the top and I brought so Put many people Put that boy TD posters me, up. I see those. About, dude. Shit was but fire. I'm going to continue making videos. I'm going to continue making my thing. Yeah. I'm not going to make more videos about this. Yeah. Tyler, please reach out to me. And if you do make a video, I'll make a response video. Like, I talked to your brother. He doesn't All want right. that. I don't want to do that. I want to see that response reach video, low key. Reach out. You don't have to do this, man. Enjoy the video, y'all. Okay. Hey, chat. Hey, them posters was funny as shit yesterday, bro. Or two days ago. <laughs> they, they took that boy TD posters and put it. <laughs> hey, dog. No, hey, they funny, dog. They, they different. Bro, I wouldn't. This is so weird, bro. I would never see the day because everybody loves Jesser. And now I'm seeing the day where I see tomatoes being thrown at this nigga, bro. I never like whenever we watch the two hype shit, y'all y'all dicks was hard as fuck over Jesser. Months later, I see tomatoes at this nigga. At least I know y'all not no, no dick riding ass niggas. Y'all just y'all just see shit for what it is. At least at least at least at least I you know what I'm saying y'all just not dick riding niggas, even when they do some nut shit. It's open enough and things were visible enough to see that I needed help and Jesse was never there for me. Jesser. It's not even Jesse anymore. It's just Jesser was never there for me. And when I talked to him in person and he said I hugged him. I, I noticed that too. That nigga, that nigga Jesser did the whole vid like looking down at his fucking nipples or some shit. He didn't look at the camera once. <laughs> okay. Tried to use it against me, whatever. Like he, he hugged me. I wish I said just like, I don't get away, like whatever. But yeah, um... He he asked he he asked me what my goal was with L I tweet and if I wanted a bag, like he wasn't <laughs> going there to check on me or really talk to me. He was trying he was and he he made me feel bad. He tried to make me feel bad about the hate he was getting. <laughs> like, he wanted a bag. Hey, these niggas is funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> what's what's your purpose? Do you want a bag? Yeah. Hey, these niggas funny. It's ridiculous. Like and. The fact that he tries using the rent that he helped me out with and that he helped me out with my channel in the first place and he uses that against me to like keep me under his thumb, it's terrible. It's not friendship. Right. I, that's not a friend. Because of all the stuff that's been happening, I, I wish I never took his help. And I almost wish I didn't go and go move into the YouTube house in Yorba Linda. I wish I just mm -hmm. went to college sometimes and didn't get like this deeply involved in any of this because how bad you. it's turned out. Like I've, I've literally just been a pawn. I feel I like to you. his grind to 10 million subscribers, like, yeah, he helped me out with that stuff, but it's all because he just needs people around him to make videos and, um, supporting that feeling that I have of being used. Um, when we made the VR channels, he took 51% of my VR channel. Like all those channels were just started up for money because the VR channels were the fastest growing at the time. He took 51% of my channel and then bragged about it. I go, what? Like I heard that. What do you mean 51% of his channel? What do you mean he took 51% of his channel? What does that mean? He's gonna... <laughs> Wait, so he helped bring his YouTube up and took half the bread from it? Look, I ain't trying to take credit for shit, but I want you to go ask... Janik, Simi, Jordan, Sean, any of them niggas... I didn't... I just, I just, I just, I just gave him opportunity. That's it. Just shouted him out. I let them do their thing. Ask him if I ever took a dime from him on anything.
anything ever, ever. And if I ever would, if I ever would, I said, what the fuck? I can't imagine helping my homie make a channel with something. Even if I'm in the channel a lot. Even if it's like just I'm in every other video. And I'm like, yeah, 51% now. My nigga, that's not a homie. That's a that's a business partner, my nigga. That is a business partner. I don't even like saying what I just said because it makes me feel like, yeah, I, 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 I put these niggas on. That sounds weird as fuck. I don't even like saying that. Let alone take 50 something percent. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe maybe it's something I don't know about. Maybe it's more to it. Like 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 I don't know. But that shit stuck in my brain, and I can never believe how this dude can say that about his friend, elementary school friend that he owns like his channel, and like that's something to brag about. Like it, it's like nothing I want to be around. And mm -hmm. another story too, just how like selfish this dude is, and actually all the guys. This applies to all of them, but. We were in a Discord call when it was time for Moochie to join too. I, we were talking, and I put, I was, I was put it out there. I was like, "Hey, is anybody else willing to give up a percent or two so Mitchell feels more part of the group?" Ah, nobody wanted to. He's just on a tiny salary now. Mitchell doesn't own a percent of two ape. Okay. Messer was not willing to give up one percent for our elementary school friend, mm -hmm. one of the dudes that adds the most to the group. Pure good person funny entertainment these guys and jesser could not give up one percent for him we could have all given up a percent he could have had six percent of two like that would have been that sounds amazing to me mm -hmm. but no he's just on a tiny salary because they can because it's a business it's not for fun it's not for fun or friendship it's a business and the thing that makes it mitchell's the new one right mitchell's the new one right Mooch, the moochie one so annoying is they try to paint it as not a business and it's all about the friendship and all of them doing it for fun it's like no stop being so like Stop trying to keep the greediness and selfishness in the dark. Like, that's yeah. what's aggravating for the people that have been abused by it. Like, own up to Better the follow shit. that nigga back. Stop lying. Like, it's, Just because of that. Like, it's so bad. Shout like, out Moochie. Like, the Sidemen are a great example. Like, they're a wannabe Sidemen. But they're terrible people. Like, what else would you expect from a wannabe Sidemen group from L.A.? Like, <laughs> chill, chill, it's chill, bound chill, to be chill. fake as hell. Chill, chill, Just chill, Just greedy, chill. selfish, self-gain. Like, chill, all of that. Chill, so... Chill. Simon, Simon are amazing because they're genuine. They're, they're, they do stuff fair. They don't abuse people on the business side. Mm -hmm. I like I found out some stuff on the business side that's like, what the hell? I don't care about the money like that, but I want to be treated equal. I want to be treated with respect, and that didn't mm -hmm. happen. Like they're just not. They're just like they're not humans. They're they're not real people anymore. They have ascended past humans, mm -hmm. normal people, and they're YouTube gods. They are YouTube gods now, and they um, they just they just make decisions. Like um, I heard. Uh, that uh, Jesse, Jesser, and Chris were talking to TD about kicking me out of the old house in your Linda because I was like hanging out with my ex girlfriend, or um, I was just not uploading enough. I never knew that. Just like Los and TD didn't know they were kicked, and, and Mao too mm -hmm. they didn't know they were kicked until it was already a decision. They don't feel the need to like have normal conversations. They just make terrible decisions on their own, like, and it's just it, it's they're nothing to be around unless you're a part of a part of it and want to just i don't even know i'm gl i'm so glad i'm out of it and, and the weird thing is too they're in denial like they're just so deep in their own lies and just thinking that they're right and everyone else is just the bad what do you what do you, what do you think what do you think like the two hype niggas are like doing right now like what are they thinking are they are they are they are they are they calling td los and like uh, 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 mopey like some bitch ass niggas. They're ungrateful and all this shit. Or they're like, damn, we might have fucked up. Damn, we might have fucked up. Like, damn. Okay, we got lost in this shit. We got lost in this shit. If there was no manipulation involved in saying all this, like, like try to make it seem like it's someone's not, and off the rip they came out, like, damn, okay. We got lost in this fame shit. We got lost in this money shit. We fucked up. We did these boys dirty. I understand they want to. want to. They just came out flatter like that. This shit could have been over and dealt with. But these niggas, they ain't going, bro. <laughs> they. Oh my god, they shot cry, bro. That's kind of, bro. A hundred thieves just signed these niggas, and like less than a month later, they're in some bullshit. What the. F Fuck, bro. Hey, I feel like Cash. I feel like that boy Cash is at a point 
where it's like, hey, look, if these cash, if these checks stop coming, you know what I'm saying? I'm good on my own type beat. You feel me? I'm I'm straight. If, if, if it gets too bad, my nigga, hey, man, if this starts damaging, hey, man, look, bro. Because this is different, bro. This is different. Before, it was just low solo type shit with all the animosity. Now, like, oh, shit. Going like, public together. animosity. It's like something something he said to me was, all change is good change. It's like, so nobody can get lost in the money in the, the internet clout? You see nobody. this, chat? Chat, you see it? Why would I? We watch a reaction i say so i just said talking about lost in the money and in, in, in the in the fame why does this always happen whenever we whenever we watch shit i'll say some shit and then you know what i say this always happens he can lose themselves so that's not a thing like i've seen how this dude talks to people who cool. which one like his like editors and people out in public like working people and it makes me sick it's like again just youtube gods like looking down on people, talking down on people, talking shit about people, because apparently they feel like they can. Like, apparently they feel like they're the next American Sidemen and they can do whatever they want. It's like, it, it's their heads are just, their heads are going to fall off. They're getting so big and they can't, like, I can't, I don't even, I'm, make, I'm trying to make a joke or something. I can't even, I can't. You know, <laughs> my boy tried to throw a joke at us. We were, we were out eating. It was Jesser, a friend of ours, and, and me, and we were at Cheesecake Factory eating outside. Yes, we didn't even have our food yet, and... Jesser sees this kid like walk by or whatever and we can kind of see when someone's kind of like looking back and might recognize us and yeah like, yeah just of begging for the kid to not like walk over and say hi and it's like it's a little kid and his dad like and Jesser's just begging like no please don't come over here like leave us alone no like I swear and it's like this kid it's probably gonna make this kid's day at, yeah at least look I don't be saying that but sometimes when I'm out in public and my, my toes is out and they ashy as fuck and my knees is ashy and shit, in my brain, I'm like, fuck. I low-key hope he don't ask for like a picture because I'm kind of down terrible right now. I'm kind of, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like, yeah, I'm out here looking like a bum ass nigga. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's like, what's up? What's good? What's good, boy? You know what I'm saying? What's popping? <laughs> Bruh, I really be walking out of the house looking like a bum, dog. Like a bum. Day, probably week, or, or something like that. Just meeting Jesser. But the other side of it is this dude is begging for him to not come over and say hi. Chris, Chris, put this in Jesser. Like, that he's better and doesn't need to, like, talk to the people that support him. And it's, like, it's it's nasty. And I feel, I feel bad as a friend that I couldn't help stop that you're happening. a bum okay but chill chill chat chris and zach for so not long about me. like these terrible attitudes about just just life just completely just change this dude and, and then thinking it's okay to paint me as mentally unstable online just because i'm saying like i'm saying f the group l hype and he's trying to like it's just so mind-boggling how like what happened and it's really sad but i am um, not going to crack my brain over <laughs> trying to change people <laughs> They're just so deep in their own ways. It's like, I'm just leaving. I'm not being a part of it. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Jidel. Um, This Fuck. dude has just treated me like... Shit, I actually know nothing about Jidel at all. And... So, like... I, like, literally have no opinion on him. Like, I really don't have an opinion on him. So, if this is, like, bad right here, like... Fuck. Jidel, like, 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 robot? Like, I literally have no... Like, like I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, I could watch a million two white videos, and I feel like I still wouldn't have an opinion. Like, I don't know. What is you? No disrespect, my boy. Like, I just don't know, my nigga. Like, this, there's something, like, I don't know, dog. Fuck. Like, trash for so long now. Um, in the videos and outside of the videos, this, um, this attitude that he would have in my videos of not giving a shit. Like, he would put a smile on for his videos, so it's a snap like that. And for my videos, he would just look like he does not want to be there and just acts like a terrible, just a terrible person just to have in the videos. And, um, yeah, I, I talked to Jesse about this, and he said he noticed it, that he actually treats my videos 
not even other people's like specifically mine Hmm. less than others and cares less i talked to chris about it too he said the same thing that he okay so after this conversation did jidel go to lsk and jessup like bro you said you agreed with him that i this and a third bro shit gonna get awkward in that house word bro that's gonna get awkward 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 noticed it and um when i tried talking to jidel about it he said i'm sorry or he said he said he noticed it and then he's sorry but in this video i was looking off to the side at mitchell off camera da, 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 just like excuses like i didn't confront him about this issue for a while that's on me that's on me that i let it go on again but it was just i've i've been i'll go into some stuff later but yeah okay, I've been chill. a lot of my issues chill with the robots bro and um it just really goes to show that this dude was low-key hating on me for a while because this same situation happened back at the Yorba Linda house where I said, can you please act better in my videos? Like, try to care more. Years down the line, it's mm-hmm. happening again over like a six-month period. I don't know how long. Just a really long time. And it's like this dude's like 25 years old and puts on a smile every single time for his own intros. And then he wants to like act like he forgets to put a smile on from my videos and not like own up to it. And it's not mm-hmm. even like it was just about the videos. Like he would talk down to me as a person. What the fuck? Like, he's just, and if you look at his tweets, the way he tweets, this dude thinks he's just on another level and he's super intelligent or something. Like, and it makes me, it makes me like hate. Like I'm not being a part of a group where some dude was low key hating on me. Like I'm not ever supporting that Bro, guy. Bro, I need some life. examples. Cause I literally have no, other, like, I don't even, I can't even gauge this motherfucker's personality. Like. Fuck, I, didn't, ah, I wish he gave an example on how he would, like, talk down on him, because fuck. And it's not a person I want to be friends with. And you, mm-hmm. you guys shouldn't want to be friends with someone that makes everything a competition. And once he's a trial for me that you've done, this is this is kind of petty stuff, but just, just like, example was, like, when I broke his ankles, he made a whole video saying I didn't break his ankles. What and the fuck? These have been my thing since, like, elementary school, and I've made multiple hoodie collection videos, mm-hmm. and he still wants to say he has better hoodies than me. Like you can't just have oh, this thing. He needs to have hoodies as well. <laughs> that nigga, <laughs> hey, bro, that nigga got something against Mopey, bro. Hey, he got something against Mopey, bro. Hey, this nigga got something. Hey, that's okay. So I know I'm not gonna lie. I know a few people like that, and that used to be that way towards me. I think that's just ah, is that jealousy chat? Like, the way I looked at it, it was just like, I don't know, something something about me makes you want to one-up me. There's something about me that makes you want to one-up me type shit. And I know a few, I know, I know some people like that. It's kind of annoying. But you won't do that with other people, though. Another person can do the same exact thing, but with me, it's like, this, that, and the third. It's some extra shit. Why? Envy? Hey, that's what my, my PSN name is. Envy, man. You know what I'm saying? OGs know that shit. Envy, man. Dash. OG knows that shit. OGs know that shit. Be his you know thing, too. And it's like, I'm not being friends with someone that's low-key hating on me and tries to devalue things I've done. Like, why would I ever want to be friends with someone like that? It's in, in the craziest Damn it. thing. You know what's crazy? It happened again. I just spoke about giving examples and shit, and then go gives examples and shit. Cause I I, I, I didn't think he was. About it too, and this just it's it's insane. Okay, is that be I was Jesse's elementary school friend. This is a brother treating his brothers. Or this is a dude treating Jeez, his brother. Same thing with all my homeboys. School school elementary school shit. Disrespect. Like five years old. Like, I can't like been friends great, with them since we were five. Like I don't even know what to say. Like I'm just getting out of there. Here's some clips to show what I'm talking about. Not sure how long it's going to take, but check this out. And keep in mind, too, that this happened at the Yorba Linda house two years ago, and it Yorba happened Linda. again. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what is good, guys? Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today, I'm here with everyone in the house. What we got going on today is some 2 life dodgeball. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today, I'm here with Jesse, Mitchell, and James. What we got going on today is another story time video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The theme for this one is going to be stranded on a boat in the ocean. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. Cool. All right, let's get started. <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, he even tried to even try to put the camera on that nigga because like his vibe was off while everybody else was like, oh yeah, really? Yeah, cool. If you guys haven't seen this series before, you guys will understand it really easy. Chill. Chill. What's up, guys? It's Mopey. Today we were Jesse, Zach, the boys on the phone. James. What we got going on today is another guest. He didn't even smile when he said his name or make any type of hand gestures. Hey guys, it's Mopey. Today we were Jesse, Zach, Chris, Mitchell, and James. What we got going on today is another Zach guest. Didn't either. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today we were Mitchell, Beach James, and Jesse. What we're doing today is some Roomba fighting. I know you guys love the Roomba fighting, so we're playing that. But a little bit of a change up. What's up, you guys? <laughs> the it's Mopey. Today I have everyone here okay. and Mitchell. Hey guys. Two at plus Mitchell. What we're gonna be doing? Who's <laughs> in So okay, that nigga really. He got some <laughs> thick ass legs, though. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're gonna end the video there. Leave your thoughts down below. What which sport you guys shoes? think is better? Shout out the guys for being in the video. Get shout out the guys for being. Look at Jesse looking at this nigga. Look at Jesse looking at this like, yo, what the fuck is this nigga doing, bro? Hey, look at Jesse. Look at Jesse looking at this nigga. <laughs> Why did they get touching his toes, my nigga? Everyone here and Mitchell. Hey guys. Two at plus Mitchell. What we're gonna be doing? <laughs> was, so. Jesse's is like, bro. Uh... <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna end the video there. Leave your thoughts down below which sport you guys think is better. I need cuts like this in my office. Shout out the guys for being in the video. Right? Get, shout out the guys for being in the video. Go check out their channels. Links are in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Opie out. Right. That, that nigga didn't even. Tough. That was really tough. What's up, you guys? That nigga didn't. What the fuck? You didn't even do the outro of the piece or nothing that shit? Guys, it's Mopey. We have another tier list video today. We're gonna be doing YouTubers. Oh uh, boy. This is yeah. This should be this should be interesting. Today we have everyone in the house. Jesse, Chris, Zach, and James. You guys already know how it works. We have twenty five different. Oh. Bro, is this nigga depressed on this nigga? Like, what, what the fuck is this? That is what? What is this weird ass shit, my nigga? T up. T up. But the nigga's mad to be in the vids. What you think goes through his mind when like Moby's like, yo, you wanna you wanna you wanna appear in a group vid right quick? What you think go through his head? It's like, oh fuck. Try to when you're putting it together, like go on the other side and go like Okay. Like that. Oh, James, you wanna sit there so you don't block it? Like when I'm walking. Oh the GoPro? Yeah. Nigga moved the GoPro. Do you see what just happened? He told him to move so the GoPro could have a better view so he's not blocking it. And this nigga moves the GoPro. My nigga, this is his video and his, like, cinematography. He wants stuff looking a certain way. Why are you moving the camera, my nigga? Just move. Bro, this shit probably so awkward, bro. Okay. Oh, James, you wanna sit there so you don't block it? Like Who am I blocking? Oh, the GoPro? Yeah. <laughs> like a guessing face or whatever. Are we looking at the TV or camera? Uh, yeah, look at the TV. <laughs> right. Thank you. Oh, Let him I'm gonna eat it right now. I wasn't that bad. Look crunch. I guess. You look crunch so much you put it in the seat here. <laughs> what? Now just to show how much I look. Hold on. Right. Thank you. Oh, Let him I'm gonna eat it right now just to show how much I look crunch. You look crunched so much, you put it in the seat here. <laughs> oh, tell her I'm going to do it. What are you doing? Tell her, what are you doing? Tell her, what are you doing? Tyler, give me more light. What are you doing? Tyler, yes, no, you gotta go what are you doing? Tyler. <laughs> 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 I'm right here on the right. I'm going to the right. No, Mitchell, Mitchell, you gotta go back around. Go back around. Go back around. Look at the top middle. Tyler, do you see what you're doing? Go back around. Go back around. Tyler, what are you doing? Bro, go to the top. Go to the top. Bro, I'm at the bottom. Last one, Mitchell. Come back. I don't know. Go, 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 go. Dude, no, look at the Yes! The comeback is on! Tyler, don't do well with you yelling me like that. Chill. It's just a game. It's just a game. I so that is a representation of how he treated me outside okay. of videos as well. Like the clip where he just moved my GoPro from the shot. Like, that is going on. That kind of treatment is going on outside of the videos as well. It's not an act. It was just, he just, just disrespect. Like, and I'm not, I'm, no one disrespects me like that and then gains my support again. Like, I'm out. Moving on to Zach, he's just one of the fakest people I know. Jesus like, Christ. So Jesus fuck. I thought he was about to say, like, you know what I'm saying? Moving on to Zach. Um, yeah, he has. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was going to be more mellow. Jesus shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Does everyone got to be a guy? Like, like, damn, bro. I thought it was going to be like, yeah, fuck. I don't, I don't know what I thought, but damn. Gained my support again. Like, I'm out. Moving on to Zach, he's just one of the fakest people I know. Like, so manipulative and the things he's done to other people, especially Whoopi. Um, if you what? guys don't know, that's Zach's ex. He completely trashed her name on a live stream. I think it happened like twice or something like that. And he <laughs> got me to think she was a bad person and she did him wrong. 
when in actuality they make you like hate who they hate. Hey, no cap, no cap, no cap. Not gonna say too much, but yeah, like a year ago or some shit, he was on live talking about um. I, it was like it, it appeared on my recommended, like a plug channel posted him saying that she was like I don't know. She, she was something. It was, it was just like a whole hour. It was a long ass video. She he gave her a whole bunch of money and they broke on. She was crazy and all type of shit, all type of shit. So I I I'm not gonna lie. I thought that bitch was crazy as fuck. I thought that was a crazy. I'm like damn. Every time I would see her in like a video or something or in a stream like or hear her name in a low stream or something like damn that bitch crazy the whole time. That's tough. So is she crazy or not? Yes or no? Cause I'm not gonna lie. Look. It's fucked up for me doing that, but back then I chalked that up. I was like, damn, she wanted up. Bitch is gonna bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I thought to myself, bitch is gonna bitch. <laughs> Shit. He had, he, he had himself in a sitch. So that whole time I'm thinking that she not. Nah, she chill. That's tough. Damn. <laughs> That's kind of fuck for me doing that, but damn, like the the likes, like, cause I I I always go to like the comment section to see maybe like to see if what other people say. Maybe the comments would be like, nah, he twisting something. But all the comments were like agreeing with it and shit, and calling her crazy too. So I was like, oh fuck, like the like the dislike ratio and shit was all good and shit. So I was like, damn, Wolfie, uh, uh, what is Zach's exes and shit, and like he got with a new girl and she was all. Like, their relationship was all perfect shit or some shit. So, I was like, oh, yeah, it had to have been her or some shit, right? Or something. I don't know. And you only hear their side. I don't know. I don't know about their relationship. Fuck it. You can hear the other fuck. side and be mind blown at how shit actually is because you only hear their manipulative fake side. There's the same thing that happened with Lois and TD. Like, from Chris and Zach, I was not wanting to talk to Lois and TD and, and Woofy. I thought she was she did bad, too, because of the things they said. But they were just untrue to get me to not talk to them. And keep the group just everybody against these people so they seem like the bad people she mm. was done so horrifically wrong like and she couldn't even defend herself she tried she tried suing for defamation but that's a really hard thing to win on twitch so she just got her name Damn. destroyed online like she's a good person just suing and i encourage you guys to check out her video or the pod or there's not pod, uh like vods whatever the the streams the highlight streams like mm. those are out there like go hear her side don't just listen to zach's manipulative terrible side just throwing her under the bus because he was being lazy with the videos that's and tough never you know what i kind of hate uh, i don't know if this is true or not but i kinda, i used to fucking i'm not i'm not saying whether who's right or wrong here because i haven't watched both but i fucking hated when people did that in breakups especially bitches bitches do it a lot so it's kind of weird to hear like it came from like if it's true that zach was the one that did this but like bitches would cheat on a nigga do all type of shit. They will literally be the fault for a breakup. But you'll ask them, "Have you ever cheated on a nigga? Oh, why? Why did you and your ex break up? Oh, he was he was this. They would never say the. They it would never be their fault. I have never asked a bitch why did you and your, you and your ex break up or some shit. And it was like, oh yeah, they they cheated or some shit, or they did this. I've never, 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 never. So look, I'm talking, so if y'all have asked about, let's say y'all asked 20, 20 bitches in your lifetime, why did you and your ex break up or some shit, and none of them have told you because they cheated or they did this and a third, I'm, I'm gonna say about, 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 about 50% of them is lying. Oh, 50. Oh, 50. They cap. They, motherfuckers be cap, bro. They cap. Bro, they would, bro. Look, if I did some fucked up shit and we broke up because of it, hey, it is what it is. Hey. I know my fuck up your chances with the bitch, <laughs> but hey, bro, shit, damn. But like, if you're not trying to, if they're not trying to bag you, then why lie about it? It's like fuck it. Oh, whatever. Terrible side, just throwing her under the bus. Ninety-five percent shit. Videos. Nah, I say probably like seventy percent. Ever, ever the same 60, again. 60, 60. And other things right. he's manipulated to me about. Like earlier this year, I received terrible jokes from Chris and Zach. Like terrible. Like I can't like even. What? I can't even talk about them. And caused so much pain, like, and I was already in such a bad. Like place what? This year. I need to know. I, I don't oh, you can't talk about it. Never mind. Chill, chill, chill. Stop. The only time the joke stopped after a period of time. What type of jokes do you think they did? Like midget jokes and some shit. Not no version jokes, cause he was going stupid. He had an ex and all type of shit. So what type of jokes do you think they they did on the N word? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They called him hard off. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Jewish shit? No, cap. Cap. Cap.
Cap. Nah. <laughs> No, nah, nah, don't put that out. If you don't know, if you don't know, don't put that out there. Don't put work. Like, if you don't know and you're just saying shit, come on now. Nah. You can really feel like, come on now. Nah. nah, bro. Unless you have proof, tee up, bro. Tee up. Time when I said I was taking a mental break and not being a part of videos. So then they immediately stopped. That's, that's what it takes for them to stop, I guess. Mm -hmm. But... Hearing those kinds of jokes, and that's what Zach and Chris find hun find honey find funny. Um, I don't care to be around them. In all else that Zach has done, like just seeing how fake in the manipulation. Like I tried talking to him about it, and he just denied it. And it's like these guys can't own up to anything, and it makes you feel like it makes me feel crazy. Like how Lowe's, TD, and Woofy, and Walker and everybody that's been done by wrong by these people like are feel crazy in some way like did I do something wrong in my like what like it's no they try to do that and they make you feel like like they're right and that they didn't do anything it's terrible so I encourage you guys to check out Woofy talking about it Los years ago talked about it you can see the passion shit, and man. anger in his voice talking about Chris and Zach because it's so aggravating that kids just go with what these dudes say so go back and listen to what Los said years ago TD made an amazing video talking about Chris's terrible 45 minute video and just TD spoke on stuff as well. Like go check out those things. If you don't believe me, like the facts are out there and like, mm -hmm. I don't know what this dude is going to go on live stream and say, but he could say whatever he wants and will say whatever he wants because he's like protected by Twitch and it's hard to sue for defamation. So he's going to do and say anything to keep his online image because mm -hmm. that's all he cares about. Like none of these dudes are going to go and work a normal nine to five job again. They are going to say whatever they can to keep their online image is including making me seem mentally unstable which jesse chris and zach have already participated in like zach was retweeting like mental illness stuff and it's just like it's such a joke and moving on to chris <laughs> i have never been more disrespected in my life than when i talked to chris Fuck. and went against something he wanted which was um him and i had a conversation about the youtuber trading Fuck. cards when i said i did not want to be a part of those um i've just i've never been so disrespected as a person before in what i want to just be shit on because it goes against putting money in his pockets and what he wants for his business like i can't i don't even know what to say and the amount of terrible things he's done like Fuck. it's been talked about a lot but the two hype auditions i'm bringing it up again like yes everyone in the group went with it but that's yeah, just, just because chris that. is just the ringleader and wants to do what he wants to do and like we, we didn't we, nobody really oh, stopped him it's on our that's our fault as well but just the fact that chris was lsk was okay with people taking time out of their day possibly going to sleep with thoughts about like thinking about joining 2 ape when it was never a reality never a possibility just all for his okay 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 you keep on bias right okay okay ah oh, shit um okay fuck it i'm gonna just say it fuck it fuck okay so before all this popped off right two hyping them niggas Hit me up. Yo, the community is doing this and the third. These YouTubers going to be in it. Like, everything was straight. There was no Mopi was selling to it. Everything was straight. Everything was cool, calling. Yo, Flight going to do this shit. DDG going to be in this. My all type of shit. Right? Look. This was like, this was a few months back, right? So I'm like, all right. We calling. We calling. I'm going to have my own trading card and shit. Oh, tr oh my own trading card and shit. We going to sign something and shit. All Look. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Fat low sale. Oh, yeah, I already spoke to Los about it. Fast forward now, nah, and it's like. Damn. Los was talking about it. Yeah, Los was talking about it. Fast forward now, nah, and it's like, fuck. Like. They kind of down bad right now. But they already have all my pictures and shit. They already have my cards and shit. Like, so what's what's going to happen with that? Those exposures, it? Yeah, I already know. He's, he's, he spoke about it like two weeks ago or some shit. So, like, what's going to happen with that, bro? <laughs> like, I can't just say, nah, I already signed some shit, right? So, it's like, are they still going to do that? <laughs> Are they still like, hey, what's going on with that? Shit was supposed to drop like a month or two ago or some shit. 
but now all this shit's happening. So like, I gotta ask what other YouTubers are doing. Like, like, like. I think I think DDG is on it or some shit. Scammed? I mean, it's not necessarily a scam scam because they didn't foresee the future. They didn't know all this shit was gonna happen. I ain't know all this shit was gonna happen. <laughs> I forgot damn sure I ain't no bro Los was Los was even doing it until he re he realized this that and the third You got fucked I mean shit It's fucked I just want I, I, I'm gonna let's see what happens I'm gonna see what happens dog I'm gonna see what happens bro Look, if they still put that shit out, if they if that company still goes like whatever, and I'm in that motherfucker, all I know is my card, all everybody else's cards better be worth zero dollars, my nigga. I should I should be the only card in that motherfucker that should be worth shit, my nigga. No bullshit. No bullshit. Hey, too hype. Look, listen to me. If I'm still in that, in that, we, I haven't heard shit about that shit in a minute. If I'm still in them packs, look, y'all are down pretty terrible right now. I might gotta carry the packs, my nigga. Look, my cards better be the rarest cards in that motherfucker. Look, my nigga, look, I'm trying to help y'all out. Y'all looking kind of tough right now. If your rage is a basic ass car, my nigga. Look, bruh. Look, bruh. <laughs> Bro, I thought this was some. I don't even. I don't even look at. I don't even. I don't even look at them. I don't even know what the money deal is. How the money? So I'm not even gonna talk about. It. I, I don't even care. I thought this would be be some lit shit. I don't want to be left out of that shit. I thought it was gonna be lit as fuck. Niggas flexing on your rage card and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, bro. Let me carry the packs, my nigga. Niggas finna draw my pack. That shit better be worth something. This video entertainment, like, whatever. Like, it's just nasty. Like, it's so bad. And, like, the mistreatment to... He's mad? Oh, shit. I think I lost. Like, never look at a student the same. And he could say, like... Oh, he's realized a lot about himself and he's making changes, but it's like in his tweet saying that he's apologizing for oh, sugarcoating he stuff, that, okay. he's literally sugarcoating. He hasn't changed. Like, he should have said, I'm sorry for lying to you guys and manipulating you guys. Like, I'm moving on from that. But he said, I'm sorry for sugarcoating, which is sugarcoating the lies manipulation, which are, there are so many out there. Like, he literally had to delete the 45 minute video that he put out because it was so terrible. It was, I, can't, I couldn't even watch it. I don't know how Lowe's managed to sit through it. But he tore the video apart, like, breaking down everything, how it was such bullshit. TD, TD's video, as well, talked about it. Like, terrible. Feel bad for Chris, whatever. No. Like, it's just, it's such a joke. And knowing knowing how it really is, like, it makes, it's, that's why we're all talking about this stuff. Because it hurts knowing what the truth is. And then the fake agenda they put out being believed by kids. Like, that doesn't sit well with us. Like, we want to know we want the, the we want the people to know what the truth is mm -hmm. for ourselves so that we don't see like comments um like not knowing what's really going on and things up in the air and assumptions made for us to get stuff off our chest and for the people to know that they're literally being manipulated like these are just youtubers just trying to keep their image they're gonna say and do whatever they want they're not going to air out what they've done or else they wouldn't have platforms like and that's why i put out the li tweet on the night they won the streamies it's like I don't they regret do doing that shit. because if you guys knew all that I knew and there's more stuff I can't even talk about, then it's like, you wouldn't blame me. It's like, yeah, they don't deserve to be in that position. Like, Wait, who was the one that tweeted, damn, he did that on that night that we we're supposed to be selling? Oh, no, 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 more stuff I can't even talk about, then it's like, you wouldn't blame me. It's like, yeah, they don't deserve to be in that position. Like, they don't deserve to win that. Cash and Mitchell feel terrible that they're a part of this. They're great people. But the rest of them, like, no. They're very selfish in just doing Fuck. it for the money. And it wouldn't That's be such tough. a big deal that they're doing it for the money and trying to retire off this stuff. But it, it's the fact that they paint it like they're not. And they're good people. And it's like, that's where it's aggravating. And I'm not having it. I'm not having some fake agenda go out there about why I left, what happened to me. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I'm saying the truth. And I'm putting a lot on the line, too, to tell the truth. You guys have no idea how much I walked away from to say this. And I'll never forgive Chris and Zach for turning Jesser into the person he is. Like, 
he's lived with them for too long and like i couldn't like i feel pain in myself as Bru a friend that i couldn't do more for him and help him out okay so a lot of people have been saying it Woody Woody Woo changed Jester and shit. Now, Jester hearing that millions of times and probably watching them, what does Jester think to himself? Like, let's pretend you're in Jester's position. You see people saying, damn, this nigga really changed you type shit. Like, you gotta, like, like do you see what the fuck you've been, like, what do you think to yourself? Like, uh, like what the fuck do you think to yourself, bro? You honestly think he don't care? But the existence of crisis? That's things, something. Like that's kind of yeah, fucked. There's nothing I could do, really. I mean, I, I, I probably could have done more, but I just have to accept it and move on. Just know I can't do anything now. And hope after this that they stop treating people so terribly and they talk to people with respect. Every single person should be talked to with respect by these guys and mm -hmm. not hurt anymore. Like, knowing how they talk to, like, editors and people that are helping them out and, like, it's, it's just, it needs to stop. And it's like, how did I stay a part of the group for so long with mm -hmm. all this stuff happening? It's because I numb myself. Uh, you guys don't know this about me, but I need to make things combine my two lives. I've been living this mopey life, and then I have Tyler, my okay. life, that I've been numbing myself and hurting myself for a while. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been abusing uh, the sauce, the devil's lettuce. I'm not saying the word for demonetization or whatever. Really? Interesting. Okay. Damn. Damn. So does that shit act okay, so does that shit actually help? What is that shit what is the weeds? Like like what is it let's say you're feeling like shit. Like like when I feel like shit, I never got why like yo, I need a drink. Oh fuck. I never got that. So like when you feel like shit and then you take like three weeds or some shit, whatever the fuck y'all be doing. Like, what is it? What do you feel? Like, what does it help? Like, what is it? Like, explain it to me. Help me understand. Calm you? Makes you not think about the pain. What does it make you think about? Just nothing? It just makes you chill? Weed isn't a drink, I know, but I'm, I'm saying, like, I've never been in, like, I never like like when I'm down bad or something. I never felt like oh I need so I need this for me to feel this way because I, I don't know maybe maybe just because I don't know. You mellow out. Calms you just thinking in the moment. Okay, that's that's just your mind and body. How long does that last? Feels like head. <laughs> How long does that last? Cause like when that shit. When that shit uh, 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 clears up, aren't you like back in your own head again? Like you get your anxiety comes back and shit. It gives me anxiety personally. Uh, then you smoke again. <laughs> Bro, the day. What do you think is going to be? Niggas been trying to do this since I was in fucking middle school. No, no, not middle school. Like high school. Like, what do you think is gonna be the reason for me to finally fucking take a hit or smoke some? Like, what? Like, like, do you think it's gonna be someone, someone, someone? Or am I? I feel like I'm literally just gonna have to wake up one day and be like, "Yo, I want to try this." Until that day, I don't think that's gonna happen. Like, I, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think there's anything wrong. I don't give a fuck. I had bitches that used to smoke on me, smoke in the room. Like, I don't give a fuck. But like until I wake up one day and I'm like, yo, I want to I want to try this feeling right quick. I don't think I could. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't care enough to. You meet flight curiosity. <clears throat> am I a curious ass nigga though? I mean, I am to an extent. Yeah, only until you want to. Getting cheated on. I've been cheated on like three times. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? Uh, two times. Smoke at 100k live viewers. Bro, see? When y'all say, say say goals like that, like two years ago, if you would or a year ago, if you would have told me, yo, you have to smoke when you hit 10k live viewers, when you can hit 10k live viewers, I would probably say, yeah, thinking like that would never happen. So, like, I'm not saying I would ever hit 100k live viewers, but like, fuck, I've learned a lot over the last year type shit. <laughs> the only thing I'm curious about is the type of nigga I would be while, like, I'm hot. I kind of want, and I kind of want to see what niggas, like, why niggas do it so much. Like, what is the fucking hype? Like, the whole world does it. Why? 
That's the only thing I'm curious about. But yeah, I've been abusing Go that, for your knee pain. nicotine and in the past year alcohol like really badly. And it got so bad Damn. this year. And I tried to quit so many times. I tried mm-hmm. to get help. Um, you know, I put like this text and like, this is a great example of the kind of support these guys offer as friends. Okay, I just skimmed this. All I see is a paragraph, and this nigga Chris go, Yo, James and Zach, have you guys started watching the Chopped Draft? What the fuck? Yo, just more heads up. You guys can, pre- you guys can prepare, but I'm taking another week off from recording personal channel videos for myself and others starting Sunday. I'm down to being your video Sunday cash, but after that, just too hype stuff. I've already quit the vape, stopped drinking problem I was developing and sorting out a lot of tax and bank stuff. I've been put off for a long time. Much more to do, but ready to be back. What the fuck is... Bro, this support... Bro. I'm not trying to expose no DMs. But, like, if y'all were to read the paragraphs, like when somebody's going through it in our group chat, in the Kotsky group chat with Bruce Janix... Uh, Rich, uh, 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 TK, Jordan, all of them. You would think we some simp ass niggas or some shit. Like we some, we some soft ass niggas or some shit. But nah, niggas really be going through it. And niggas really be needing somebody to talk to type shit. Like it be paragraphs. Damn, niggas, say, <laughs> niggas say y'all start. And the nigga Jay said a picture of what? What is that picture of? Friends. Um. Talking about starting a drinking problem and stopping it and just trying to get better. And then everybody only has time to just just like it. Like, just thumbs up. Not a single <laughs> word of encouragement or anything. Um, Bro, and what? And just goes back to talking about video shit. And it's like, okay, cool, great support. And then we got Jesser over here immediately texting me after once he sees that for me to be in his sponsored video. Yo, Teller, I saw your message. Is there any possibility you could be in the watches video? What? The fuck. Proud of you. On to helping Mitchell more. Oh, what the fuck, Mopey? I feel bad for this nigga. What the fuck, Mopey? Like, he even brought it up again. Like, he said, yeah, I'm down for that. Jesse says, thank you. Mopey brings up, like, his problem. Like, 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 like what the fuck he got going on again? I feel, like, what I the fuck? About these issues I've been having. And then he doesn't even acknowledge it. He just asked me to be in his sponsored video. And then he says, thank you. Then I say one more thing to try to get some acknowledgement. And then he just says, proud of me. If I hadn't say that one, if I hadn't said that one text before or after thank you, it would have conversation would have ended. And I didn't hear anything in person. Like there's, they did not, no one cared about Tyler. Like it was only Mopey. If Mopey could show up for videos and it's like, it's, it's sick. It's not, it's not real friends. It's like, what the, like I'm a person that was like, I'm out of there. I'm not being a part of it. So things got so bad with me. I had no support couldn't quit that I went into rehab I went into a place in LA for 25 days. It was October 21st that I got sober. I've been sober since Um, I'm not counting the days I'm trying to challenge myself to do a year, but it's been really tough and Since getting sober sober I realized like I'm not being around these people because they contributed to me using like they do that stuff themselves and they treat me terrible. So like, it's not a good environment for me. I'm not being around that environment. I want to be healthy. I want to stay sober. Like, so I'm staying away from them and hope to mm-hmm. never see them again. While I was not entirely Fuck. open with how bad things were for me, they'll say like they, they didn't know and I just kept to myself. It's like if anybody, nobody, I said I was taking breaks and I wouldn't upload and I wouldn't be around for weeks and like months on end mm-hmm. and no one checked on me for like months and months. And like my living situation, my hallway was so bad just everybody walks by it and thinks nothing of it like what I, what's going on in my room and like what i'm doing to myself in my room and it's like it got so Jesus bad with my Christ. hallway that it could be pitch it could be pitch black dark and i memorized where to step to not step on shit and get to my room like and i don't want to blame my my living situation and how i was treating myself on them but i'm not having to go out there that they were supportive of me or trying to help me like it was just me and something that re- really stood out to me as a good person was um, Jeff, actually. He and I were talking, and he asked me twice, how's it going? Because the first time, it's just the typical good. You know, I'm not going to just unload everything if somebody asks me how it's going. So he asked again, and sincerely he asked. And I told him, and then he's like, let me help you. 
Let's move the stuff out of your hallway. What that really say, thing if you're just living in the shit for so long. Yeah, can't, obviously, lizard. you're going to be depressed. Like on GTA. Yes, on GTA. Like, nah, not tonight. He, on GTA. He said, no, we're doing it tonight. Like Y'all can do that on GTA. not doing anything. Let's move the stuff. One night, we moved everything out of my hallway, mm -hmm. which has been like that for months and months and months. That's, that's, that's in cool. one day, w, one Jeff. night, somebody that really wanted to see me do better and be, w. Better, be in a better place made that happen. That's a W. Like, that's a real friend. That's a W. That's I'm going to go try to be around. Not these... YouTube, that's a W. Like gods that think they just whatever, dude. Like no, like I'm I'm getting out of there. I'm not gonna lie. Jesse wants to go online. My boy Jordan. Jordan's like that. I'm not gonna lie. I like I was I was kind of down. You know I was I was, I was I'm, I'm gonna just say that this room that I'm streaming in right now was kind of fucked, right? And I was like like I just didn't have time or the care in my brain to clean it. Creed was fucking it up. Bro, I come out of my 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 bedroom one day into this room and this room is fucking clean. Swept, mopped, cleaned, bro. Creed ate a hole in my wall last week. I go to walk him. I'm coming inside expecting for me to clean up. This nigga Jordan cleaned up all the mess on the floor, bro. All the like what the fuck? It's not even his dog. It's not even his room. My nigga? That shit. That shit. Bruh. His demons? Like, no, they're the only demons I'm fighting, those guys, because they're trying to paint me out to be mentally unstable. Because I went to, like, rehab because I was using those substances that are legal in my state. Like, I can smoke and I can drink and I could use nicotine products. Yes, that's Warden. He's done that shit twice, bruh. For that stuff, like, I don't. Like it, it's a joke to mental illness and that they like care and it, it's just such a joke and it makes me sick honestly. It's like yeah, they care about me so much, but they're screwing me over on the business. That's side his dog too. Yeah, technically it is his dog letters, too. But come on, you know what I mean. Doing what they're doing online, talking. Like a, most people get annoyed. This fucking annoying ass dog's doing this down the third to the bro. This nigga cleaning areas of the house that he just like he doesn't need to do that. Such a joke and it but makes me does. sick honestly. It's like yeah, they care about me so much, but they're screwing me over on the business side. And sending me cease and desist letters mm. and doing what they're doing online, talking about me. Like, like I just want to move on from this chapter of my life and have people know what's really going on behind the scenes, how they treat people, and what they've done to other people. Like, again, Los, TD, Mal, Walker. Walker was done really bad, too. I was, I was, I thought Walker did something wrong, but he's a good person. Walker is a good person. That has been done wrong and just gets like I just thought just I don't know what I thought they made him out to be like a bad person and it just sucks. They made him. Like, they made Walker out to be a bad person. Like they did what they say about Walker. I feel shitty that I was a part of it, but I'm, what the fuck? I'm out and I'm just glad that I can talk about stuff and I did not sign anything keeping me from doing that. Like here's some text from Chris about the manipulation of Los to the group and it's but like to me like I had to stop being friends with Los. Hold on, let me hear this. Let's read this chat. Yo guys, I hate to bring this up again, but I just want to clear. To be clear and inform them that I no longer wish to speak or talk about Los online or off like any interaction. I'm on following on all platforms next week when it, this dies down. The shit he just said to me in a conversation, I personally wouldn't look at anyone in the group differently if you guys engage in any sort with him online or offline. Anything. But he's talked about all of you. Literally, Cash Mopey. He said. <laughs> He said the two niggas, you know what's crazy? He said the only two niggas that Mopey said he has no problem with are the two niggas that LSK made sure to mention in that little paragraph right there. Hey, I be peeping shit. Cause, 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 uh, cause, uh, Lois used to say, yeah, uh, Mopey and Cash cool though. So Chris made sure to add that. Can you explain what he said that made you look at him different? <laughs> that boy Cash said, I just want to clear this up, man. I don't care what he thinks he got to be honest. Just want this to be done. <laughs> Cash Nasty messages. Yo, ca bro, Cash, <laughs> Cash Nasty messages in the group chat state. They always funny as fuck, bro. I'm imagining him looking at his phone like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, bro. He's always on some A, hey, bro. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Keep it pushing, bro. I ain't even on, like, bro, come on. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Chris, that's a problem, Cash. You're feeding him the more you interact with him. I'm taking the high road and don't wish your care to so know what. It's manipulation of Los to the group. I'm just, like, to me, like, I had to stop being friends with him. Uh, I don't really should know what he said about us to him, but just know he's not a good friend. Him threatening to use the conversation he's had with Mopey and Cash to make you guys and the group look bad. Clear's name is this and if Zach doesn't give a real apology or delete his tweets and what I just said, don't talk to him about his own I'm just letting you know if I do for any reaction towards him online, all that no bueno. After Zach says his piece, let's move on from this to complete. I never talked down on anyone personally in the group, so whatever he says is false, just let him win. <laughs> that boy Cash, bro. Cash ain't going, dog. <laughs> close. I'm very happy that I can Cash ain't going, bro. controlled by some dude, so. Yeah, too. I guess you guys, yeah, bro. You still talking to Lowe's? This nigga asked him, bro. You still talking to no Lowe's? No, I'll show you text. Why? Just wondering because he texts Jess, I guess. Oh, no point in responding to him anymore. Yeah, not me. Yeah, do you have one of my memory cards? Yep. Coming down now. Uh, living office. Bro. Bro, are you still talking to Lowe's? LOL. Bro. I'm not gonna say too much, but there's a few niggas like I hate bringing mice because my everybody is different. But there's a f a few niggas <clears throat> Bruce does not like on this internet shit at all. He hates a lot of niggas, but he sees that I I follow them or I might interact with them. If he would never tell me, yeah, <laughs> and he's the one, and, and sometimes he's the one that like introduced me to them or some shit. Or like the only reason why I know them is because. He would literally be the one. He would, he would never tell me, don't talk to them ever again. I don't want to see any of that shit. If he does say some shit, it'll, it'll be him roast. He gonna roast them, yeah. He gonna roast them, but he not gonna tell me. Like, he'll go in the group chat and flame the nigga. You know what I'm saying? He'll flame the nigga, but he not gonna tell me to stop talking to the nigga. Ever in his life. I don't think he ever in his life would tell. I don't think he would ever do that. And he would have a valid ass reason to hate the motherfucker. Like a reason, but the reason would have nothing to do with me, so he's not gonna tell me to stop doing this down the third. He would never, never. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I'm not even talking about cash. But I, I don't even think he. Let's say it was cash. He never. He never. I, I wasn't even talking about cash. I was talking about like smaller niggas, like like streaming niggas. But yeah, he's never even with cash. He's never told me to not do this now, even though I'm, not, but he, I don't really, I'm not really quote unquote friends with Cash, so I don't think that could work. But I'm talking about other niggas, and I'm not really talking about Cash. I'm not really talking about Cash. But he see me tweet Cash on the TL on some friendly shit, on some cool, he would never say nothing about that shit. And if he does, he would just roast them. He's not gonna fucking tell me to stop doing this on the third. You know what Just know there's a lot of niggas he don't like. He sees that I'm like straight with them, that I'm cordial with them. He does not give a fuck. He will just roast. <laughs> He'll flame them niggas. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, it's just dumb. It's just ridiculous. Now I'm gonna be going over some of the terrible tweets that have been put out by these guys because they need to be talked about and just goes to show like just how ridiculous it is. Um, starting out, I want to clarify this one about Chris talking about hiring security and. Him putting that out there, I mean, without this really explanation, really this or just leading people to believe that he had to hire security oh, yeah, that. or whatever. Like, I don't know, just a plain vacuum card, leading people to... Security, you know, for under nothing but respect people's privacy online, even after having to hire private security for my own safety due to threats in my own house, too. Shit, man. I believe that he had to hire security because of me, or whatever. Like, I don't know, just a plain the vacuum card. So, the reason that Chris hired security... There's gonna be Davis with AMP? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, y'all, we gonna wake up one day. <laughs> David sitting on the bed like these. Why I left AMP <laughs> was because my dad. I had a talk with my dad, and I told him everything that has gone oh, on. Fuck. And my dad sat down with our manager at the time, my ex manager, and he told he told him, and he threatened Chris. Oh and, shit! Like, that's that's a dad. Like I wish he didn't do that. That's not okay. But. It's my dad just being protective of me, like knowing what this dude has done to me. Wish I had a dad that would do that. Mistreated me when my dad shook. Who else in here wish they had a W dad like those, bro? Who else in here wish they had a dad on W timing, bro? Imagine that. I mean, like, imagine that.
Holy shit. Up until a certain age, you 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 you, you must probably feel like you kind of protected type shit. I mean, until a certain age, you on your own type shit. Like, you can't worry about your daddy, but sometimes you still come through for some situations. That's kind of fine. <laughs> hey. Hey, Pots and W. Hey, Jada, I see those. I'm your dad. <laughs> Zach and Chris's hands. That he trusts. Hey, don't worry. Hey, chat, y'all got a problem? Call me up. I'll deal with whatever or whoever, you know what I'm saying? Making your life a little difficult. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up, my boy. You got a teacher on bullshit? Hit me up. I'll go to that school, cuss her the fuck out. I'll, I'll, I'll go into the Zoom class, cuss that bitch the fuck out. Fuck is wrong with her. You know what I'm saying? Trusted them to be the older guys. And that would be not going to college. Where your dad at, dads, nigga? I don't guys. know. Somewhere like, in Florida. Be responsible and take care Chilling. of them anyway. And they not only did not, they did, they did not do that, but they my half brother the bullshit. So... Yeah, my dad was pissed, and he threatened Chris. Like, bad, it's not good, but he wouldn't hurt anyone, but that's what happened with that. And then more of the victim card, jokes on me, I guess. Yeah, SMH, no bad blue right? anyone jokes yeah. on me. And then, um, what the hell, I'm just the one about guys like, like, don't acting like he was there for me more than anyone else in his life. Hmm, moment, that sounds moment, pretty familiar to, to yeah, Jesser's just... tweet saying he was there for me more than anyone else in his life as well. Right, they were both there for me more than anyone? Yeah. <laughs> Let me, let me put out these tweets showing messages of me reaching out to him and sending him videos to listen to or whatever and checking in, checking in. Like, no, it's a joke. Same thing for Jesse, if he try, Jesser, if he tries to put out anything. like Bro, that nigga said him. Jesse and then corrected himself and said Jesser. That's hurt. That's hurt. Ooh. Same thing for Josh. I mean, your rage. Oh, my God. I cannot... I cannot imagine one of my friends. Oh my god. Same thing for Josh. I mean, rage. Oh, I'll throw up. Joke. Same thing for Jesse. If he try Jesser, if he tries to put out anything, like of him sending me shit, like, oh yeah, I've been extremely down. Let me just listen to this thing and I'll be all good. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Also, I don't know what he's talking about with the block stuff. Like, I got blocked by him and Jidel, like, weeks and weeks before. So he blocked me first. I don't know what he's talking about. Speaking of Jidel, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about his Recent terrible weeks tweets. Before. Blows had a great response to an emoji that fit perfectly ah. with the tweets that were put out by... Oh, uh, the, uh, the second one. Uh. Uh. Jidel and how terrible they were. Like, he's saying group payments are larger with more people. No, they're not. If we're doing a brand deal on the channel, they're not paying... They're not going to pay more because there's nine... Based on the... Yeah. Six. They're going to pay... Like, let's Based say on the channel. Pay. That 100k is split amongst six people instead yeah. of nine. So the six people get way more. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, they're not. That's that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's actually facts. No fucking company is hitting you up and thinking about how the fuck you're going to split your the, the revenue they're about to get. No, they're not. They don't give a fuck about that shit. They're like, here, you generate this amount of views. I feel like this amount would be good for them. They don't give a fuck how many people are working on your fucking channel, bro. They do not care. At all. Yeah, same thing with ad revenue. We get that split amongst six people instead of nine people. How? Like, no, it was business. It was business for money. And he wants to say he's so selfless in such a... It's his passion, and he's, he's, not, he's not doing it for the money. Then why couldn't he give up 1% for Mitchell? Huh? Nobody could. Nobody wanted to. Chris Chris even, like, like he like he laughed. and Not laughed, but he was like, that's all you, dude, if you want to do that. It's like, Holy like shit. This, this shit is not a friendship. It's not cool. It's it's a business. Don't try to play it off like it's not a business, and you guys aren't greedy. Damn. Like, God damn. So oh, yeah, shit. so frustrating about this. That nigga pissed, boy. So how does Mitchell, who is now in the group right now, how does he think of that? Damn, none of these niggas was willing to throw me 1%? It's like, damn, shit, it's all right. Shit. Fuck! <laughs> Bro, it's gonna be awkward in that fucking house, boy. And then Chris's, more Chris's tweets after he deleted everything and just wants everybody to move on and forget. I won't be entertaining any negativity, blah, blah, blah. D d to the fans, I apologize for sugarcoating. He's literally sugarcoating right there. Life is short. Let's focus on ourselves. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a terrible person. And life is short, guys. Just forget about it. Just everyone move on. Focus on yourself. If you try to comment about it, you're just gonna get blocked. Like, just, you're just gonna get blocked, and I'm just gonna carry on with my life and just keep being good and just doing what I'm doing. Like, it, it's so frustrating. That's how 
that's how YouTube works. That's how the online scene works. Like, they just block out the hate and just carry on. Like, uh, check this out. These are the blocked words on the 2 no, no. It's a lot. Of Damn. They, hold on. Let's go. Let's, let's go check through these. Out. These are the blocked words. Blocked words. Oh, my God. They blocked milk. <laughs> bro, I don't have a single fucking blocked word on my channel, bro. A single. Not, not no knee shit. Not no... You know what I'm saying? Bro. <laughs> Bro, oh my god. Niggas, every, every fucking plug video, niggas would fucking flame me for being... You're leeching. You're a leech. You're such a leech. You're fucking... You're a leech. Leech. My nigga. Okay, so Mal... Malcolm. Everything... Tub? Tubby? Okay, <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie. I think Los went in there and changed it. He made sure that was. I think. I think Los when he was there, he made sure that was like a thing. Premieres premiering. Premiere premier. Stop. Quick kick. Words on the two ape channel. It's a kicking lot. kicked sidemen. <laughs> they probably seen a comment talking about that these niggas want to be sidemen so bad. Fix. <laughs> Bro, they, they they made sure they they spelled Sidemen in every way fucking possible. A lot of shit. You can't call me. Rip off, cut, cringe hype, L hype, fake fake. Oh my god. T D Los Lewis Mao. Anything negative? They don't allow. That bro, every single nigga that got kicked out. <laughs> Tim T D. Oh, they, they have TD Presents and Tim, but not TD. Money, sellout, clowns. Okay, first of all, this is so much shit. You can't even say the word friend or money. Like, let's say you actually want to have a comment about a friend or some shit. Wow, any negati negativity. Original Walmart. Talking shit. Trump. Kenny? What did Kenny do? I'm finna get toxic. I'm setting this nigga up. I'm finna get toxic. <laughs> I'm getting toxic. Oh! Kenny is Walker! Oh, y'all saved me. Oh my god, y'all saved me. Oh my god, I almost look dumb as fuck. Oh, y'all saved me. Oh my god, W, W fucking timing. Whoever saved, oh my god. Oh my god, I was ready to get toxic, bro. Fuck. Either I was about to look stupid as fuck, or Kenny... Wouldn't have remembered that the Walker's name is Kenny. He would have been like, "What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck?" Send him, send him a fucking text and shit. Why is my name blocked on the True Hype channel? Either way, shit would have went bad. W save chat. W fucking save. It's like I'm not being a part of this. Sentence. Donald Trump racist. Boring. Lame. Ad. Same question. of the people. My nigga, you can't say shit. Like they can't, they can't, you can't criticize when you, there's, you get AMP! Why can't I FaceTime Duke? Fuck! Chris, okay, okay, let's see Chris, let's see. How y'all feel about these? How does AM? How y'all feel about these? How y'all feel about these? How AM? We're not doing this. How y'all feel about these? How y'all feel about these? What's up? Why are you doing this? What's up, bro? Why are you doing this? What's up, bro? Hey, I'm gonna let you rock, nigga. I'm gonna let you rock, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. I had the camera on the screen and shit. <laughs> hey, bro, hey, bro. I'm let her rock. I'm let her rock. I'm let her rock. I ain't gonna go do that. <laughs> I'm let her rock. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Niggas is funny, bro. Niggas is funny. Niggas is funny. Niggas is funny. Get blocked and you just. It's so dumb. It's nothing I want to be a part of. What was really tough, actually, was my name was added to the blocked word list when I was in rehab. When 100 Thieves joined 2 Hype, my name was added to the blocked words. What the fuck? They put that out there, or they did that when they said that I was taking time off from videos. It's like, they were just tired. Like, I don't know if they were just tired of people seeing, saying, where's Mopey? But they literally what the added hell? Like, 
that didn't feel good. And okay, I thought that was recent, things, like, like right Chris, now. Like say no to Nate shot when he brought up my name and the way Chris said it was such in like a fu way. It's like Wait, what? And just more nasty, weird stuff that I wait what saw in rehab made my decision of leaving much much easier because that's no. a big reason why I went to rehab. What do you mean I no? To get sober and decide if I wanted to be a part of stuff or not and. Phantom? Hold on. Phantom? Okay. Oh, let me see something. <laughs> that nigga not gonna answer, bruh. I'm gonna get tossy. Let's get tossy. Let's get tossy. Let's get tossy. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm live and shit, right? <laughs> you see this? Oh, no, I can't see you, bro. Don't say too much though, cause look, don't say too much though. Don't say too much, cause. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm just getting toxic, nigga. I ain't trying to look. You don't gotta say nothing, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, look, you don't gotta say too much, my boy. But hey, man, that's your niggas. Hey, bro. Hey, they, they got your. Hey, hey, that. Hey, that's all you, my boy. That shit shocked me. I'm a, I'm a holla at you. All right, nigga. <laughs> bro, we talk. Okay, we two thousand. We two thousand. We two thousand. We two thousand. Shit, shit. We two thousand. We two thousand. They, bro, 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 bro. They, <laughs> they know they ain't trying to get no shit, bro. They, they, they ain't trying to get no shit. This shit. This shit. This shit. This shit. This shit. They can't say too much. They can't say too much. They can't say. Too much. <laughs> Uh, bro, I made sure I showed them the live, bro. I made sure to make sure that they should see that I was live before, cause if I I could I could hold them I could have hold them niggas and, and not warn them that I'm live. They said some nut shit, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, okay, let's chill, 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 let's chill. I'm not going to. I want to. I want to stay strong and make content and happily get back into it. But yeah, being around these guys, my passion has been completely just chill, chill, like, chill, just chill. destroyed. Like. It's not, it has not been fun. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it, but I think mm. there's a lot that you guys can take away from this situation. And I'm really, I'm really bummed that, you know, a lot of people are probably, not not shit, 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 shit. Like, bummed that these are the people they watch for so long and look up to. But overall, it, it should be talked about. Just to show like, you gotta be, you gotta be good. Go back, go back. I bet, I think I'm, yeah, I think I did miss him. Yeah, right here. Made my decision of leaving. Wait, what did, what did the so caption say for this picture? Stuff that Put this out about himself while I was in rehab. I saw in rehab made my decision of leaving much, much easier. Because that's a big reason why I went to rehab. I wanted to get sober and decide if I wanted to be a part of stuff or not. And I saw a lot and thought about so much that I made a, it was a very easy decision to leave. So since leaving, I've been just at my mom's house. I have mm -hmm. not been doing very much. I'm going to be trying to get back into the YouTube stuff, but it's motivation has been really bad. Like this stuff has made me like consider walking away from YouTube just because I am, I like, I don't, I'm not going to, I want to, I want to stay strong and make content and happily get back into it. But yeah, being around these guys, my passion has been completely just like just destroyed. Like it's not, it has not been fun. And I'm going to, I'm going to work on it, but I think there's a lot that you guys can take away from this situation. And I'm really, I'm really bummed that, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be, um, like bummed that these are the people they watch for so long and look up to, but overall it, it should be talked about just to show like, you gotta be, you gotta be good. Pe like just be good people. Like you, you don't want to make it to the top by being a bad person. And even even chasing the money mm -hmm. and the clout, like you 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 could definitely lose yourself. Like, do not chase that stuff and lose yourself. Like, be good people, treat others with respect. Like, don't mm -hmm. don't get a big head because you. I really feel like you got to be a type of person to get lost in the money and the clout, bro. Because I really think y'all don't understand. I was making ten dollars a month for the past few years of my life, and then I go to a hundred dollars a month. Bro, I, I don't I don't feel that shit, bro. I don't feel it. 
So like I and it's not like I tried not to get it, it just I just it just naturally I just, I just like okay cool, hundred dollars cool, right cool cool, that's what's up, that's cool. I'm very fortunate to get me making a hundred dollars a month. That's cool. That's what's up. Like I did not feel that shit. Ask any of my niggas, bro. <laughs> Ask any of my niggas. Any of I don't feel. like when I accomplish a goal. Yeah, that that has to do with money. Yeah, that's dope. That's what's up. But after I reach that goal, literally the one minute later, I do not give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Hey, y'all see that that half dollar back? Hey, you you seen that half uh 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 half emoji? Y'all seen the tweet? Half half money back? Y'all seen the half right? Half a money back? We already had that talk on one of the streams. What that money bag mean, bro? Right after I realized. Like right after, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay. Cool. Whatever. I'm bored. Do I, go, do I, want, I, I need to do this and that. Oh, Creed is hungry. Shit. Am I going to stream tonight? What should I stream? Like, I do not give a fuck. You do have an online presence Random where you have a lot of money. Like, it's just, it changes people and it's such a bummer. It's very, like, I've even changed. I don't like how I've changed with these guys. Like, the saying birds of a feather flock together is 100% true. You, the people you're around are a representation of you. So I do not want to be around those people. And I just hope that you guys, yourselves, just be, be good, happy, caring people. And don't take advantage of other people. Don't lie and manipulate. Treat us, just treat us with respect. You, you, guys, you guys get what I'm saying, I think. I encourage you guys to just work on yourselves and find what you want to do to be happy. Care for the people around you and... um think i think that's pretty much it i don't know what's to come for 2021 mm -hmm. but let's all hope that it's better i hope it's year. better and um, hope it's better for you to not make any more videos on the subject if they say some bullshit i'm going to call it out and mm -hmm. talk about it and that's that's it but i, I really feel like 2021 is to be a good mo uh year for moby to move on from this these chapters of my life and i would appreciate just, you know, the respect of you guys knowing that I've, I've been through a lot of these guys and I don't mm -hmm. care to have any interaction with them online anymore moving forward. And, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys' messages. I There's so many messages trying to support me during these times, and I like I can't get back to all of them, but I really appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. And just looking forward to providing you guys with some good content next year. Not sure when that's going to be, but thank you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching, and... Mopey out. Let me see some W's from Mopey, you know what I'm saying? Mopey was out of his element doing a doing a quote unquote drama vid, bruh. Mopey did his thing on that. Mopey did his thing on that, bruh. Said I'm on three plus right now, if I'm being honest. Hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket. Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really honest. Look at you just window shopping that new bag I bought.